other one, SD Mount Man, fired at Fatwood Friday. Uh, I should be able to take and just like flip screens here. And uh, yeah, I this new phone, I can do that again. The only thing is, I don't know how the sound's going to sound. Um, <laughs> I, I got to get a cover for it. Um, that kind of thing, I laid it on the bed and it, it dropped off. And now the speaker kind of when I listen to listen on speaker mode uh, on the phone or listen to videos and stuff anyway uh i'll pan you down a little bit lower here i got some little project going on and i'll show you a couple other little things quick hold on a second so here's one of the little stoves <laughs> i just seen um oh good grief who did this oh for crying out loud i'm drawing a blank this isn't a screw on top little tin can. It's just a slide on one, but I got, uh, and I don't have steel wool in it. I got copper, copper mesh type stuff in it. And then a piece of metal screen on top. I got some old metal screens I thought about using. I got, I just didn't want to hack it up yet. I got, I got a couple copper, old copper screen, uh, window screen. I might end up doing that, but I just didn't want to cut one up yet. Anyway. I might do that. Uh, doggone thing, I overfilled it just with, um, I put it away already, uh, some uh, hand sanitizer, some old, old, old hand sanitizer from a couple of years ago, and then uh, some 70% old, 70% uh, just regular rubbing alcohol. And the doggone thing's still going. <laughs> I'm just going to let it, let it rip. But uh, got a new knife to show, kind of a different deal. And uh, let's fire it up. Hopefully that'll stay. I locked it down. So, new knife. This thing I found it. Uh, let's see. I went last this week. Two weeks ago, I guess it was. And I stopped through uh, Runnings. I think it was Runnings, yeah. In uh, Minnesota. And on the way back home, my three and a half hour drive. Well, there. So, six hours, seven and a half hours, seven, you know, seven, seven and a half hour drive. There and back and then work for four hours. So, it was a long day. But, uh. Hulta Force, the way I say it, I don't know, H U L T A F O R S, Hulta Force, whatever. It's a wedge chisel knife. It's, oh, my shoulder. I got to get to working on, with some weights on that thing. But anyway, yeah, it's, it's like a little chisel there and then basically a chisel blade there. 90 degree spine. I did just kind of clean it up with some sand cloth on a flat surface right now because I'd scraped a bunch of stuff here. But, uh, Oh, here, let me, let's see. Anyway, uh, the belt deal on the sheath is kind of weird. I'm going to see what I can, I don't know, it's got a little, it's kind of got the same thing like a mora in there, like a hook, you can hook it onto other ones or whatever, It'll like make a long deal of them. But uh, I think I might take and pop that, these little, spring tabs back here I might pop them and then uh shave that thing off back there and then run a piece of paracord through and do my dangler type thing I've done with other ones but uh, I tell you what um oh man that was a little short to... but uh, even I even did this here with it So yeah, chisel wise, uh, there's 90 degree spine wise. I did this whole pile with it, so uh, it works. Uh, and for 10, I think it was like 10 bucks, 9.99 or something like that. Pretty crazy. Um, well here. You know, um, not as great as the striker. So we're going to use that. Where am I? And so I had, I had some of my, uh, some of my shavings from that in there, but I also had, uh, from my library youth, uh, survival skills course I did this summer. I sharpened a bunch of pencils to do that. And so I had a little of that there too. So. 
guaranteed light up. There, get them both in there. Oh, I think I, that one must have just went out. Oh well. Um, next uh, deal is to try this with some denatured alcohol. And uh, oh, I put it in the garage. My little stove. But uh, oh, look at that. I got so many doggone ideas for videos. It's like I got them come out my ears. You know, everybody says out there wazoo or whatever, but. I'm so full they're coming up my ears. Um, so here, <laughs> just another simple little stupid little thing I've done, and I hope this shows up on video. Um, so in my profession, this is this is kind of a gun we got for cockroach bait, and you just screw this syringe thing on here, and squeeze, 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 and when you want to release it, kind of like a cut gun, you push that and pull the pull the pull the plunger back. But this piece of gray PVC. Oh, I don't know, six, seven inches, I don't know, maybe eight, I don't know, don't remember when I made it, but I cut it out and then took a heat gun and melted it. The only thing I screwed up when I did it, I put it with this side on this side, and I got thinking, no, I got some uh, tape measure, old tape measure uh, pocket clips I wanted to screw on here, so now I got to heat it up and get it, 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 it still it still clicks in there, I mean, it's, it's not coming out, but my whole idea is to have it this way. I can put that in my pocket clip in my six pocket pants. Uh, I just got these pieces the other day. I got to get them glued on the right spot. And it'll sit in my pocket when I go into places and sit there mostly hidden other than what little bit sticks out. And it won't leak in my pocket. Yeah. Cockroach bait holster. Who'd have thunk, huh? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah. That's, uh, that's just the SD for you. Uh, but uh, anyway, that's it for me. Take care, everybody. Love you all. Appreciate you watching, commenting, uh, like, share, subscribe. Uh, like I said, much, much more come. I got a Canon video. I got to get done. I got my antler, antler knife, antler handle knife deal done. I just got to get it loaded and look for Slingshot Sunday maybe again. We'll see if I get to practice tomorrow. Take care, everybody. SD Mount Man out.